everyone, I hope you guys had a fantastic Thanksgiving weekend. Today, we're going to talk about U of T engineering. We're going to talk about all about the different types of engineering that's offered at U of T. We're going to go through academics, admissions, student life, and of course, funding. If you guys already watched this type of video, without further ado, let's hop straight into the video. Starting off, let's talk a little bit about career opportunities. So we took a look at the 2020 to 2021 co-op statistics, so you don't have to. But U of T engineers, they have an access to a co-op program that they can have work experience. And we just went through the salaries and then the placements. So starting off with top placements by U of T engineering, first was in a computer science field, then computer engineering, then engineering sciences, and then fourthly, mechanical engineering. The average starting salary for these co-op uh, years was $54,000 Canadian. And what's super interesting about this is that so many engineers really wanted to place into computer science or computer engineering. So that's definitely a trend to take note of. The other resource you can take advantage at U of T is an exchange. So they have a structured exchange pathway program, which is intended for third year students. And this is done in your winter term. So you can also do a summer exchange program, which is 60 U of T engineers get to travel the world and conduct research at many, many world renowned facilities. Now talking a little bit about courses, so kind of like two styles of engineering programs at U of T. So there's the infamous track one engineering, which I'll explain in a bit. And there's also specific engineering programs that you can apply to straight out of high school. So track one engineering program, it gives students a lot of flexibility because it doesn't tell you to commit to a specific field of engineering in your first year. Instead, you take a general course, you're not limited to any type of engineering. And in second year, you can specialize in mechanical, computer engineering, whatever you fit, uh, you find fit. But with that said, there's also specific engineering fields. So if you really, really like like computer engineering, you can apply straight for the specific engi uh, computer engineering program at U of T, and you can go straight into that in your first year. So both for track one engineering and specific program engineering, first year is about establishing the fundamentals, and they all have standardized courses like math, linear algebra, calculus, physics, chemistry, physical chemistry, and material sciences, uh, programming both in Python and maybe C, and then engineering, design, communications, and practice. Now let's talk a little bit about admissions, starting off with the requirements you need from high school to apply to U of T engineering. So for grade 12, you're going to need English, calculus, chemistry, physics, advanced function, or an equivalent like pre-calculus for BC students, and one additional elective. In addition, you also need a proof of English facility. And what's one thing to note about these requirements, if you're an Ontario student, this is automatically submitted through OUAC, but if you're outside of Ontario, you'll need to self-report your grades at the U of T portal once you submit your OUAC application. In addition to grades, U of T Engineering also wants you to do a student profile. This is really similar to UBC personal profile or supplemental applications in other universities. So this is where you select your program and you uh, like tell the student school about your extracurriculars and you write a personal profile and you also do an interview. And these interviews, they can be a mix of technical scenarios that literally include math and physics, for example, or they could be behavioral questions that ask about your background. So do this before December 15th if you want to be eligible for a first round admission. For weighing of these applications, UFT really cares about having good grades. So number one priority output is getting your grades as high as possible. And the second thing is really nailing those interview questions about technical and behavioral and writing a good personal profile. That's a little bit less important, but because UFT engineering is so important and especially for track one engineering, you really need every advantage you can get. So make sure you consolidate and write a good student profile as well. The admission for UFT engineering, it's around the low 90s for just general engineering. And then it's around low to mid engineering for track one. And then there's around mid 90s for engineering science, which is the most competitive specific program for engineering. In addition to this, the overall acceptance rate for all of UFT engineering is 12%. Now let's talk a little bit about student life, starting with residence. So if you get into UFT engineering, you're most likely going to be staying in the Chestnut residence. So a little bit about this residence is previously a hotel and now it's converted into a dorm. It has double rooms with a one washroom that you share with a roommate. The location is really good. It's in the heart of like Toronto. You're really close to CF Eaton Center. There's also off campus housing available if you're unable to get a first year housing, such as apartments you can share with your roommates that are sponsored by UFT. 
now you got a place to sleep, now let's talk about where to eat. So first thing, you can eat anywhere. There's so many good food places in Toronto, but just specifically talking about U of T, there is a meal plan. So this is a $6,000 credit meal plan and it doesn't carry on to the next year. So you really have to plan yourself and make sure you try to utilize your meal plan as much as possible so you don't waste any money on your meal plan card. In terms of social life, you're in downtown Toronto, the heart of Canada even, and you're right next to the biggest mall in Canada, CF Eaton Centre. And you, if you want to take a weekend trip to CN Tower or go to Toronto Island, you can do that. There's so much to do in Toronto. But with that said, if you're talking about school facilitated events, there are a ton of job fairs and career fairs and just social events with clubs that just go on. So you can definitely meet a lot of friends there. But with that said, UFT Engineering does have a really heavy workload in terms of school. So make sure you're mentally and physically well prepared to do that. But with that said, you can make a ton of friends studying at the Robarts 24 hour library. So it must be really, really enjoyable to have like late night cramming sessions with your friends, at least like make it a little bit more enjoyable. And you can definitely make a lot of deep connections and really get to know each other and make new friends. For libraries, there are 44 libraries across three campuses in UFT uh, St. George's, Mississauga, and Scarborough. But the John P. Robarts Library is absolutely ginormous and it's 24 hours. So definitely go there if you want to get studying done because the vibe is very hardworking and you definitely feel a lot more productive the moment you enter the library. For the club scene at UFT, it's absolutely huge. There are over a thousand clubs, which still kind of blows my mind. There's literally a club for Quidditch. So definitely join a club if you have something you're interested in and just make sure you're taking yourself uh, and taking good care of yourself in school and outside of school and make sure you keep up with your interests and hobbies. Okay, the last thing we want to talk about today is funding. So starting straight off about program costs, it is $14,000 for domestic students for one year of tuition and for international students, it is $64,000. With such a high tuition, there are a lot of scholarships that you can apply to to really lower that burden off your finances. So starting off, I'm just gonna put a link down in the bio for U of T's new award explorer. So you can definitely search up a ton of awards and scholarships based off a criteria that you're eligible for and apply through there. And I also put down a link for the financial aid and scholarships link in the bio as well. But I do want to highlight two scholarships that are major at UFT. The number first one is the National Scholarship. This is a full ride scholarship that pays for everything. And this is for domestic students. And then the second scholarship I want to highlight is called the Lester B. Pearson Full Ride International Scholarship. So this is if you're an international student not in Canada, definitely apply for that. You have to be nominated by your school, but it's a full ride scholarship for international tuition. The last thing I want to talk about is automatic entrance scholarships. So for University of Toronto Mississauga and University of Toronto Scarborough location, if you have a 95 plus average, you get a $3,000 every year scholarship and this is renewable for up to four years, depending on the minimum grade you have to meet listed by the scholarship. But if you're eligible, you can get up to $12,000 for the four years. Uh, but for University of Toronto St. George campus, it's a little bit varied and they don't list it on their website, but generally I think the average might be a little bit higher than 95% just because I had a 95 plus average and I didn't receive a scholarship uh, for automatically by UFT, but maybe that's just me, but generally I think it's a little bit higher than 95%. The last topic I want to talk about is about financial aid. I want to talk about three parts in this, so make sure you guys write this down or check it out in your own time. The first thing is UTSU student aid program, which you can apply to. Make sure you check that out. I'll leave the link in the bio. The second thing is UTAPS, which stands for University of Toronto Advanced Planning for Students. So for Ontario, this basically auto updates after you apply for your OSAP. And if there's a missing requirement for financial need, you're able to apply for it for UFT and are able to meet that uh, unmet financial need. And then if you're a non-Ontario student and you're out of province, you will need to submit a UTAPS application to UFT. The last thing for international students, this is about for U.S. citizens only. U.S. citizens can apply for financial assistance from the U.S. William D. Ford Federal Direct Loan Program. This is a student loan program for international students coming from the U.S. With that said, thank you guys so much for watching U of T Engineering. I know university applications have started already and they're coming around the corner very, very fast. So good luck to you guys on that. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and sh turn notifications on, or share this with a friend who also wants to apply to UFT Engineering as well. But the last thing I want to note is that make sure you check out the two quizzes in the link in bio. One of them is to see if you're eligible for any scholarships, and the second one is to see if you're eligible for any um, help from our university admissions pr program. And there's three minutes, so they're really quick to take. Check those out for sure. But with that said, thank you guys again for watching this video, and we'll see. hope to see you guys in the next one.